Yo, what is up guys? I'm G Chris Effects, bringing you guys a new video, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over three tips on how to make your videos more cinematic. So, with all that said and done, let's get started. Alright guys, well the three tips we're going to be going over are the equipment, colors, and setting. But, let's get started on equipment. Alright guys, so first up is equipment. What equipment do I use? I use the A7 III as of right now, alongside with the RS2 for the, my gimbal of choice. And then my drones are the FPV drones that I build, alongside with the Mavic 2 Pro. Those two drones are super key and very powerful for the different reasons, right? So FPV drones allow me to chase the cars at, you know, insane speeds while my Mavic 2 Pro is able to capture cinematic scenes as far as establishing shots, tracking shots of the car. I also use this Tascam um, audio recorder, it does everything I need it to do. And uh, yeah, pretty much the way this works is it suction cups to the back of the car, it does not come with the suction cup, I had to buy this on Amazon, so just look up su suction cup mount for cameras and then it has a screw mount under the Tascam recorder and it works out perfect, so that's what I use to record. And then finally guys, going along with equipment, the last thing you're going to need is an editing software, right? I use the Adobe Suite because it includes Lightroom, Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere Pro, right? So we're talking videos in this video. So Premiere Pro is the way to go. That's what I use to edit alongside with After Effects if I need to make some extra adjustments onto my phone. <music> Tip number two guys is going to be color. Color is key if you want a more cinematic looking video. I mean, it's as simple as that. And that goes alongside with the famous teal and orange look or if you want like more of a desaturated look or a realistic look, either one, they all work. One quick tip guys on top of that is don't change the color of the owner's car. They're going to notice it and even if they don't, you know, I think it's, it's very important to stay true to the original color of that car. Alright guys, tip number three is going to be setting. Setting is huge to set the mood and set the environmental tones for the film you're going to be shooting, whether it's going to be out in the country or in the city, and also the time of day. Super important. If you want those sunset vibes, those harsh, moody vibes, I would go for sunset, golden hour vibes. And sometimes you want those, you know, underground vibes, which is during the nighttime. And then also, too, if you want more of like a day-to-day -day job, just in case, like, you're trying to shoot a commercial for, like, Ford, for example, a lot of the times they're going to be shooting it during the daytime, just to give it that relatability when you drive the vehicles it's more during the day chances are you're not driving at night each setting guys has a different purpose so what I would suggest is figure out the purpose of your videos alright guys well that concludes this video don't forget the three tips which includes the equipment you're gonna be using the colors in your videos alongside with the setting right so all three come in play to achieve what you want and to achieve that cinematic look and chances are if you're watching this video, you're trying to get your car videos a lot more cinematic, so stay tuned for future videos. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below what you have questions about. You know, I'm going to make a playlist for all the tutorials on my car cinematics, guys, so stay tuned for that. So, with all that said and done, guys, don't forget to please comment, like, and subscribe.